and do two bonus attacks. And it's guaranteed. We got him. Even though he put a grace in here, it doesn't matter. You die. You die. Ding, da, 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 da. Against Captain Combustible. You are never safe. You are never safe. <laughs> Bye, Infinity. Have a nice time. <laughs>Making content for you guys is a full-time job, and it's only possible with your support. Click the link in the description to join my Patreon for access to exclusive streams, deep fry podcasts, private video calls, and more. What's going on, everybody? This is Fry. So today we are doing the OTK Poison Ivy deck. This deck has a lot of ways of winning, but let me start with the one that is the most fun. You're going to play Poison Ivy, which has a pretty ridiculous amount of attack for a three-cost car. This in an empty lane... It has five attack naturally. Now, on turn 10, theoretically, you can play Poison Ivy, play two great powers. The first one will make its attack be 10, and the second one will make its attack be 20, and then you can use the superpower called Time to Shine uh, in order to do a bonus attack immediately and win. Obviously, that's very difficult to pull off, so let me show you some other ways that the deck could win. First of all, running Click B. So you can just play Click B on one, Click me on two, click me on three, and you win. That's one way. Um, we are running a lot of control elements in this deck. So we're running four banana bombs, four berry blasts, and then four banana launchers. And if you especially can get the banana launchers going, it does open up a way sooner than turn 10 to set up the OTK Poison Ivy. Because you play this, if they stick something in front of it, that's the problem. But you really save three sun if you've already set this up the turn before. Especially if you set this up the turn before, it does five damage. Now you're dealing with 15 health. Then you're able to use even a couple of ban uh, banana bombs, maybe even one of the banana peeled running in the deck to move something out of the way. And all of a sudden, now you have the next turn a whole bunch of sun and a poison ivy already on the field. So basically, the combo can not only be happening on turn 10, it can be happening a lot earlier. Also, if you're able to get some initial damage, which we do have damage dealers. See, the split P actually has three functions in this deck. You can play this as an aggro card, and you can play this deck, just click P on one, and you're hitting them on the face on turn two and then you're hitting him in the face on turn three with your poison ivy and actually be able to then sort of set up a finisher with your flat foods that is one way of playing the deck which is aggro you can also control with all of these cards as well like four damage for two costs is actually good so if they over commit a zombie uh, this will easily take out even a three or four cost zombie usually because of its high attack the other function of split p besides being aggro and control is the fact it's pinging your block meter, which means you're, you know, these little bits of damage means you're gonna block more often during the game and get your time to shine and your superpowers. You can, there's really a lot of ways. I mean, you can poison Ivy and then you can just use Blazing Bark first, which will bring it up to nine and then use the uh, Grape Power, bring it up to 18 and, you know, time to shine. That'll basically be all you need. And I guess that's a turn eight combo. There's a lot of ways of doing it. Uh, Captain Combustible notoriously does not have any ways of controlling in the late game, and our control card, so to speak, in this deck is going to be the Potato Source. You're basically going to be sticking this in front of things and making trades and stalling for time. Uh, this can also end up being part of your win condition, because at the end of the day, when you play this, it has six attack after the Dino Roar. Next turn, it's already at seven attack. So you're sitting on turn seven, you have a seven attack creature on the board, and you're able to just use Great Power to make that 14 and then use plant food to make it 15. So that's gonna be 15 damage. If you found five damage any other time during the game, which is pretty easy to do, then that's also gonna be an OTK. You can even set up the OTK with Split P, because again, you give this a Blazing Bark, it's at eight. You give them one of these great powers, it's gonna be 16, and then you're able to just Time to Shine or plant food or whatever, have, depending on what turn it is and what you have in your hand, do that in the face. Let's see how this deck does. We're playing Captain Control, essentially. But again, this is, uh, I guess you can sort of call this a proper mid-range deck where there is a way to play this super aggressively and there's a way to slow down and play it slow and maybe set up a big efficient combo in the late game. I think the banana peels are going to be, uh, the banana, sorry, the banana splits. Now the banana peels are going to be one of the most important cards. Not banana split. What is this called? Banana launcher. We're not running banana split in this deck. I'm confused. I am a confused. 
Uh, the banana launchers are going to be one of the most important things to develop in this deck. Uh, because that's how you're really going to have sustained control. I guess between that and click bees just taking over the game. <laughs> no! <laughs> we ended up with a one drop. We ended up. I heard Mulligans. Uh, we're going to do bets today. I want to give this a fair run, so let's do 10 games. Uh, some of these games are going to take really long, but I'm still going for 10. If you think this deck will win, eh, let's just say 8 out of 10. If you think this will win 8 out of 10 in one way or another, I'm not going to force the combo unless we're in a really <laughs> strong situation. I'll use the banana bomb so I can hit this next turn. I'm not going to be forcing the, the OTK, the turn 10 OTK. We're going to do that. You know, you, you, you can do that opportunistically. If you end up finding that in the lake, and great. But if you end up with a poison ivy that they don't address, you can do it earlier. Bro, what is this? Should I poison ivy to face here? I think we have to get rid of this headstone carver. Sooner than later. Uh, okay. It's just cheese? You got this from the other cheese? It's cheeseception? There's a block. That's a big, hefty five damage block. So right now, we have <laughs> nine damage in our hand. That's awesome. We really have no... <laughs> I want my berry blast back. I really do. Is this a pogo? We're gonna find out the hard way. It's a pogo. Again, banana launcher. Not banana peel, not banana split. Banana launcher, that's the one. We didn't get it though. And as you can see, we're very, very severely struggling right now. It's probably another pogo, right? We're so done, bro. I'm totally going bananas. We're gonna have to try to win, like, right here. So we do this next turn and try to OTK him? Okay. Sounds good to me. <laughs> We're gonna have to pull it right now. Wait a second. So it's gonna be one. We spend this, so we're at nine. And we spend this. We could play all these. This is actually still winnable. All right, let's try it. <laughs> if we win this game, guys. If we win this, oh wait, we have to do this first. If we win this game, this is BS. This is BS country. But he basically has to just not have any answer here and then we win. We did get him out to two. <laughs> One damage. Come on, pass. Just play Maniacal F. He has to not have a nibble extinction event or anything like that. <laughs> Are you kidding? Are you freaking kidding me right now? That was some bullshit. <laughs> Are you? Kidding me? That game was lost. Oh my goodness. What? <sighs> that was disgusting. What? No, for real, dog. What just happened? I'm waiting for the chat. The chat froze for like a full 10 seconds there. No one chatted because you guys were all on the edge of your seat watching that. I have to deal with the delay, of course. That was wild. That was crazy. That was whack. That's what it was.
You know what they say, guys? Against Captain Combustible, you are never safe! <laughs> yeah! <sighs> Imagine being saved. Crazy. We didn't even need super there. Because we could have just gone, oh, you're right, we didn't even need it. That is true. Well, here's this. We really want to go aggro into uh, Huge Giganticus. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think with the banana launcher. All right. Here. This will be some fun. Now we're safe. Not even close to being safe. And I hope he doesn't have his guy on turn one. There you go. Fry, what's your opinion on PvZ3? I posted a video going over PvZ3 on the main channel. Check it out, check it out, check, check, check it out. Okay. We're definitely setting up Senior Banana Launcher. Heck yeah. Yeah, see if we can keep the keep the <laughs> This deck this is see this is a classic where we we're one and oh. Got to change the score. We're one and oh and um and the deck is not performing well. Not at all. How did that guy not have a nibble or anything there? But yeah, this is pretty awesome right now. I'm I'm really liking the the impact banana launcher is having on this game. And we'll just throw the click be in there and further control, but Look at our hand, too. We got our wind condition all set up. I, I like it. <laughs> Fry's playing the banana game, if you know what I'm saying. If you know what I'm saying. Okay, we can't deal with gravestones. It's one of the many things that this deck does not do well. Let's just set this up. Hi, boop, 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 How are you bounce doing? Plant. Thank you for the great streams and videos. They are such a great watch, and I still always watch the ones from before, too. Thank you so much, Ken. R19. You're becoming an OG. Been around a while. Thank you so much for 20 months. Thanks, OG. I, I wish there was a way we could exploit this. I could just pu put all of these into the gondola of it. Oh, well. I mean. Honestly, screw it. I'm I'm pulling the trigger on this already. I'll take nine damage. Well, let's just banana bomb this one. It's just free banana bombs. Uh, yeah, I mean, he's down to 11 now. He gets something. That's fun. We could go after the gondola now. I I'd love to clear lane 2 if he puts a not a gravestone there, you know? Oh my gosh. Wait. Oh, he passed. We don't have a plan for If we had a plan for this would be the easiest lethal of my life. But I think we're just gonna set this up and then punish him for playing tricks. And call it a day, man. Uh, what's better? Well, he's definitely gonna play tricks, right? So... Should we have this go fate? I see, I don't think we're gonna spend it. I don't care, think we care about the one sun we're burning. We'd rather these contribute to the face cause. I'm pretty sure now if this goes down, it'll still have like four attack there, right? So we're still doing five attack. We're still doing a lot of damage here. In fact, we're doing eight. Very blast to face could just win, and depends if the block meter behaves. That were that went really well, just putting more damage on the board. This is kind of like the half measure OTK. It's alright. Cowboy in the water is not super dangerous. 
We really just want to proc the block here and then very blast him in the face. What we're doing. Why is he going? Why is he why is he putting minions in lane two at all ever there? So strange. So let's be smart about this. He went completely. <laughs> in fact, Barry blasts him in the face. And then set up a, a, a guaranteed OTK lethal. Yeah, it's about 100%. Oh, well, oh, what about Gonzalo rolling a 1? Oh, honestly, it's just banana bomb, banana bomb. We don't have to do anything fancy here at all. It's just like this. The, the way you make it guaranteed, I, I could go for the, the meme, but the way you make it guaranteed is by not letting Gondola roll a one that hurt her face and clog the sling. I mean, let's, let's be sensible about this, guys. We're 2 0, it's guaranteed. Come on, you Giganticus. Don't commit every single brain you have. I think the space time was just a mistake. Like, you gotta save that. I don't know. Maybe he had nothing left in his hand, but. You gotta save that for something, man. Ah. Anyway, <laughs> easiest 2 0 of my life. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I mean, the first game. The first game was easy, not because we won by a lot. We won by a hair. It's just that it took zero skill. Absolute nothing. I like we keep this here. It's a curve. See what happens. Welcome to all the new people in the stream. How many people we got? 150? It's not bad. It's not bad for a Thursday night. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell, bro. Jingle bell. Uh, play control. Okay. I guess that makes sense. What is this gonna be? Flame face. Did I just do this to counter the flame face? It's not a terrible play. It really prevents a lot of damage going forward. We also get his face for five here. Which, I just don't see where this is going to go. Let's control him further. It's pirates. No, it's line dancing. Okay, that works. Because at least we have the four going phase, which is more than his. So, yeah. <laughs> Are you doing anything for Valentine's Day? You mean on the stream? I don't know. What, what Valentine's cards are there? The stupid Cupid... There's Hot Day and Blooming Heart. They're basically just stupid Cuban. Guys, we might actually have this here. I'm YOLOing it, guys. Well, Infinity Clones screws it, but anything that's not Infinity Clones means we basically win. We should block them, the cowboy. This should go face for 16 here. You know what? Screw it, man. Screw it, YOLO! This will be a two-hit OTK if we can pull this off. We just need, again, for the block meter to somewhat behave, not to roll a three, and we need him not to get exactly infinity clones, and we got him. He rolls a one. No! Oh! Really? No! Time to shine would have been great here too. It's a, just another scenario where we actually do block and we can kill this. No, what? <laughs> really, man? Even if that one and one happens, we still could get time to shine and just win there, man. <sighs> now we lose 100%. These two cards kill us. Anyway. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> I tried. I did my best. 
What can you do? I think I had a pretty good percentage of winning that game, man. <laughs> Too bad. When do I stream? I stream when I have time these days. I think I took the, the times off of the everything because I, I just have to do it based on energy, not based on a schedule. It's just my priorities these days. I want to stream when I'm feeling good and I'm going to put on a good show and make a good recording, not at 2 p.m. Eastern time. I don't know. It's just not my priority anymore. You know? I'll try to stream earlier, but yeah, I'm streaming now at, it's like, 9 Eastern. Because we start at 8.30. Uh, yeah, we got double click me, though, so this should be, uh, pretty much in the back. Ooh, that usually means he has a lightning bolt. So should I Uno reverse card him? Why don't I just B launcher? And make him lightning bolt this. All right, let's go. Good to me. Yeah, wasn't great. What is this gonna be? I don't really care. Hello. I don't think there's really anything in here. Loudmouth? It's really nothing in there that I have to deal with right now. It's loudmouth. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, so there's two ways of actually dealing with this now. I think it's going to be great power. We could double this up and take the three damage. It means this will have four health left. It makes it a nice hefty thing. I think this is actually correct. Because um, we, we this being down to one against Boogaloo is not very good. Against like Rust Bowl, that would be fine. It's just too easy for him. There's too many little nibbles and bungees and stuff to deal with that. Uh, we can always... The three damage is not that consequential. We can always meteor that next turn. I'd rather keep this up. No, no, no. <laughs> See, that's cool. I think we plan food that. This looks good. That's seven damage. Huge plan food if you, they just stick a zombie in front of you. A 3-3 three, three is on average better than what comes out of egg, unless it just ends up being cheese cut or something stupid. Ah, uh, it dies for free. It prevents 7 damage, though, in an OTK deck, but it's fine. <laughs> la 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 what is he going for here? He's going to add three damage there. So there's a couple ways to do this. If he's really just trying to add damage, going like triple is probably better than the potato, right? It's just a lightning bolt. No, he used the lightning bolts. What does he have here? Nothing? I'm actually really confused on this play. What is he going for here? He's gonna draw a car, fruit cake. He's going for fruit cake. All right, against fruit cake, this is still the play because it punishes the trick. It's doing two less damage, but it's fine. And we're also gaining cards, like the banana launcher setup. 
What? Okay. <laughs> Still fine. So he just fed that. That's okay. So we got extra banana bombs now. Awesome. Arthur. Uh, so, yoink. Decent card. Obviously no point in banana bombing that. Just gives him free... Free egg. So, best case scenario is egg goes to four and dies immediately. Uh... It's fine. <laughs> he blocked. Get evaporate. Well, he didn't get lightning bolt, so he definitely has either evaporate or um la 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 bag of dancers. <laughs> Not launcher. Oh my gosh, I have so many banana bombs. So I'm gonna exploit these. I obviously play the fat beats first. And then we'll just double banana bomb in. Oh, this banana launcher is actually completely out of control right now. Excessive. Can't even alien who's laying one. Again, it's either backup dancers or evaporate, which is not active. He caked that one. Okay. I feel like if he had... Okay, that's backup dancers for sure. Because if he had evaporate, he would have caked lane one. Wow, and he got perfect backup dancers. Come on, man. Come on, man. We're still dominating this guy. I chew. Uh, see, I want to do it on the untrickable one. And on the untrickable one, I shall. He could still block, but I don't care. <laughs> this is so out of control. <laughs> Might as well get that up to 712. Not a bad day at the office. All right, so we have a 712, an untrickable 17-8. Boogaloo's got five brains and a dream, and a chickening and a dream. <laughs> yeah, nice one, bro. Uh? Ah, yeah, we rolled it one. <laughs> three and one. Not a bad day at the office. All right, and we are three and one. This is what I'm talking about, guys. It's like the highlight what I'm talking about. I was thinking of running Poison, though, but uh, as an alternate finisher, but I just realized Potato Star is basically always better. Because it can actually, like, clunk in front of something on turn 6 and actually stall a little bit. And then, all, and then it grows. It gets to, you know, 7 the next turn. It's, it's way better. <laughs> it doesn't get it's untriggable. It's, like, solid better. Uh, Alright, we don't need more than one... Black IP, especially with all these twos in our hand. I know, what was with the kick explosion for real? So which one of these do we set up? This is really interesting. Um <clears throat> the only thing this really punishes is like beam me up. I guess there's also cryo brain, which is kind of common. This is okay against Cryo Brain and really bad against Beam Me Up. Alright, for the sake of playing around Beam Me Up, we'll do this. And we'll, we'll set these up later. And there's no huge rush. It's just nice to get those banana bombs sooner than later. But this punishes him against Frankie, anything he does this idea. turn. If he plays a card, he gets punished. I guess unless it's teleportation. So. Thank you, Sandwich, for two years. Thank you so much. Hello to Sandwich's boyfriend. Hello. Your sandwich friend is a legend. Now what do we do? We go face? Aww. We have OTK. You know what? I'll save it. That's, that's more of a reason not to play the... Uh, <laughs> not to play the split P. But every teleport he plays gets punished by Black Eyed Bean. I like our situation here. Okay, so he freezes it. So he prevents two damage and gives it a 1-1 buff. Is it worth it? 
I don't think so. I don't think it's worth it. I think you just passed there, but what do I know? I don't know anything. Not a damn thing. Uh. Uh. Which one of these do we do? <laughs> All right. Boop, 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 bounce the plant. Where are you bouncing? <laughs> Take your pick. There's no good targets. Congratulations. The one that you buffed last turn for no apparent reason. Now he has to take it out, otherwise he can go after one of these banana launchers that we have. I mean, essentially infinite banana bombs right now. This is ridiculous. <laughs> it's too many banana. Can you not play Mug, please? Just no Mug. Don't, 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 don't. Just don't. And no. And no. Okay. Uh. That's what he got. Okay. A banana bomb for you. A banana bomb for me. <laughs> the certain point where we're gonna pull the trigger on this. A banana bomb for me. Should I just punish any tricks this turn with this? I think so. Should I spam a banana bomb here? Because this almost always happens. Basically, no matter what, we always play a banana bomb on this. Let's go to lure. Meaning if he plays, then it takes three damage. And if he passes, well, it'll still die a turn earlier with this banana bomb. Or actually, it'd probably have banana bomb earlier. Banana. 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 This might be the first stream I'm running banana launcher, and it's actually been pretty good. We have to proc the block and then set. Well, we don't have plant food. We never had plant food. <laughs> That's funny. Look, it's a one to two, two. It's, it's funny, though. I appreciate it. Just for the laughs. <clears throat> Should I use this just to get the great responsibility here? Nah. Ain't worth it. Yoink! There, we proc the block. Everything's gonna be fine now. But we still need a plan. We need a way to... <laughs> oh. Banana. We sell three banana bombs. I'm sure he's not tracking them. Dude! First of all, you get your... You get your... Let's do this here, I think. So it's not in the environment. It's bad for the environment. All right, I think we have to start plugging this in and getting some cheese. Well, he definitely has teleport, but his teleports get punished so hard here. Screw it. Maybe I should just play another banana launcher just to annoy him. Oh, no. Bro pulls HG super up. Where, when did he get that? He's been holding that for at least a turn. Uh, another trick? Yes, keep playing tricks. Rocket, it's fine. It's so inefficient. I'll conjure a card this turn, but... That's basically it. Stop! <laughs> Stop killing everything! <laughs> okay, well, there goes our lead. Please don't teleport anything in for free. Okay. We're good. And we're actually getting some block meter charge for the first time since 2016, so that's good. That's fine. <laughs> We need a plant food, please. I don't need banana launchers anymore. I have. It's been enough. Oh my god. But we can't, we're not going to pull this off. There's no way turn eight he does nothing, you know? This is complete garbage. This is complete. This is complete garbage. I don't know what to do here. I'm just stalling, I guess. He's gonna teleport something in here, and I don't know what. I I'm saving these. There's no reason to play these. Okay, rocket number three. I love removal in this game. It's so much fun. I mean, he's using it on two drops, so I shouldn't really be complaining, right? It's not actually efficient. 
Uh, he's this guy's so bricked though. He had all these rockets and just nothing to do. Where is plant food? Do I need a fourth plant food in this deck? I definitely do. No, don't mug. All right, we might as well cheat. We might as well. So the space time is on the right and the mug is on the left. That's what my reconnaissance has told me. Hello. I don't know, man. Do I just go for it here? <laughs> he probably has nothing again. Maybe he has a fourth rocket science. You know what? I'm so done. Let's just... You know, I mean, let's just... You know? And I can buff this one. The mug was here, right? I don't remember. I think so. Yep. So we can banana bomb that one. He probably has nothing. <laughs> he probably has something. He has a leap! The man has a leap! That's not Undying Pharaoh, that's Ra Zombie. You gotta get your, your Egyptian history straight. Yes! 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 <laughs> we actually pulled that off. We we actually OTK then. He, he conceded, but that was an OTK click B. A two. It was a one cost OTK click B. It was just a two two. And all of a sudden, all right. We definitely need. We need another 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 another. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get rid of these. I don't think these were good. We're gonna add in two more OTK elements. It's gonna be a fourth one of these and a fourth one of these. I think the the, the, the I think this is really. How we're gonna OTK in this deck. Uh, this deck is doing really well so far. We've just always been starving for plant foods. So I'm running a fourth one. That that went really well though. We we really controlled a deck that was running like I don't know, Pogo Mug. I think that's good. Fairly certain. What is happening with my hair today? It's not. It's not. There. <laughs> I made it worse. All right. Uno, dos, tres. These are all good cards. Like, well, do I keep both? Mm. Do I keep this? Eh. Mm. Yeah, get rid of the black IP. All right, this is fine. Now we have a curve. It's one, two, three. Well, anyway. Do I click P on one because I feel like it? Hello? What? Where is my, where is my death? What happened to the death? There. Beautiful now. Bungie, we won the trade. We have two cost three threes in our deck. Click B is the best card in the game, guys. I, I wouldn't be surprised if one of the, you know, PopCat people was, you know, said like, low key, Click B actually has the highest win rate in PvZ Heroes, even more in Tricariotops. Wouldn't be surprised. There was no reason to run Click B. I was gonna run Bong Choi. And then, dumb old Moist <laughs> comes in and he's like, Fry. Clickbee's objectively better, and I was like, fine, you're right, shush. You don't have to, I don't know, yoink. Oh, that's a th three bullseye. Maybe I should have killed that. I probably should have double B-bombed that. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not very smart. Honestly, if that's how he's using his deadly, though, kind of cool. We still have health. Then we're taking an extra damage because of the, you know? So it's one, one, and two, essentially. Let's see if we can get a good banana bomb here. Banana bomb. Banana bomb. Banana bomb. Banana bomb. Nice try, banana bomb. Banana bomb. I hope that three damage. It's really four or five. I hope that's not gonna cost us the game. That was stupid. I was way too greedy. This is probably a line dancing zombie. Banana bomb bomb banana bomb. Banana da bum bum ba ba da da. Oh, that hurt. Banana bum bum ba da da da. Banana banana da da bum bum ba da da da. Banana bum. 
Banana bum ba ba da dum ba. Banana bum ba ba da. Can you stop playing gravestone so I can use these banana bums? Why, thank you very mu 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 much. Banana bum ba ba da da da. Banana bum ba ba da da da. I don't know, this will probably just kill us. <laughs> yeah. Banana bum. Looks like it saved us, actually. And it's dying, which is a good thing. So we'll have a full block meter and two health. Uh, I don't know, that's this last card. We, we, we got a shot here. As long as he doesn't get, like, two strike through minions, basically, is what he needs. That are gravestones. Like, even, like, Cowboy, we can kill with our banana bomb. Oh my gosh. We have... Uh, it's not quite OTK, but it's pretty damn good. What is he holding? Like, a fruitcake? I think we'll we'll just proc the block here and do this all. We can't do both of these this turn. Yeah, let's just. I mean, uh, my my gut just says chill. He probably has a fruit cake in his hand. So that should do five. This should proc the block. Now we're set up. Now we're really set. Up. There's his, oh, no, 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 not lane five. Not like this. Not like this. No. No, 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 bad. Bad, 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 Okay, 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 something's happening here. We got something going on. In fact, I think that that might be guaranteed lethal. Yeah, 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 it is. Unless he has a flamenco in his hand, I think we win. Because this has five, and then we can give it nine. And do two bonus attacks. And it's guaranteed. We got him. Even though he put a gravestone here, it doesn't matter. You die. You die. Dun, 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 dun. Against Captain Combustible. You are never safe. You are never safe. <laughs> Bye, Infinity. Have a nice time. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that should be the name of the YouTube video. <laughs> I can't have to come off the wall. You're dead. I think that'll be the intro, and then the other one will go on the highlight count. So that was five. That was game five, right? How are we only halfway through the stream? Can someone explain that to me? I feel like I've been playing this forever. Oh no, we're five and one now. Now we're now we're, no, that was game six. Forgot to change the score. Okay, that makes more sense. This makes more sense. Get wrecked. They did it. Do 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 do. No, 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 no. Yeah, that infinity clones kind of helped us because then he had a non-gravestone minion that we could. Manipulate to up Pesha. So this is a really good card against... These are both also. It doesn't really deal three damage very well. This is a great starting hand. I wish I had the starting hand every time. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Brace for impact is right. <laughs> so we have two really good options. Very blessed if he plays. Black IP if he don't. And he don't. So now he just, he just has to pass. Just burns this turn. Black IP is kind of overpowered, I'm not gonna lie. How is this card fair, guys? Gain 1-1 one, one every time they do it, they, they play PvZ heroes, basically. Uh, I think we play on curve here. And again, if he plays a trick to remove the 5 damage, he gets punished, so yeah. That's fine, because now he takes 5. <laughs> he has to go after the Black IP, he's actually running Wrath. After I said he doesn't do three damage, but still, that's not. That wasn't a great play for him. Uh. Keep on going, why not? Good, he can remove one. We're just gonna play this game with him. He's already behind. He's gonna remove one card and the other one hits his face. And so on, and so forth. And we have plant foods. I'm really happy running the fourth plant food. That was super clutch.
Banana launcher is popping off. I, I, I've seen banana launcher kill me many times. And for some reason, whenever I use it, it doesn't work out. But in this deck, I mean, maybe the idea is because I'm playing patiently and I'm usually like, oh, I'm always running banana launcher patiently. I don't know why. It's never worked until now, but uh, banana launcher is kind of hard carrying right now. I'm not going to lie. So many of these games, it's just we've had complete control of it because we have infinite banana bombs. And this guy just decided, he's like, nah, I'm not playing this game where I remove one card and then you put a more powerful one every turn. Have a nice day. We are 6-1. and one. Yes. Heck yeah. All right, guys, here we go. We'll get to eight. We're on a pretty good pace here. What did we lose to again? We should have lost game one. What did we lose to? What did we actually lose to? I don't remember. <laughs> Why have we not played a trickster deck yet? That's the real question. <laughs> Automatic mulligans. We got Banana Bomb though, so that's good. Banana Bomb and an OTK and a Dream. That chicken not agreeing with my stomach. I don't know what the thing is. I always get a freaking stomach ache. <laughs> oh my god. See, this could have been the end of the game. If he was playing Flag Zombie like you're supposed to, where you run this with a bunch of one drops, it's game over. Maybe you play Genetic Experiment Teacher and I don't even care what, Middle Manager. We would have been, we would be dead. But he's going Flag Zombie into a four drop and it just doesn't work. We're kabloom. You can't, you, this is not. Oh, it's not how you flag something. The reason this deck is so strong is the Rip and Banana Launcher combo. Minions and Tricks are both punished while making the game go longer. There's something there for sure. Faux show. So, we'll set one of these up. Why the heck not? You can't even smash power that. That's what I like. That's what I like to see. He can't even smash. And it just costs resources for him to deal with this. And we just set the next one up. It's too easy. Watch him overcommit here and we'll just YOLO this. So there's the dead ghost. I don't know, is there anything unsafe about spamming this with the super here? Then we could theoretically plan food next turn and stuff. For two, there's really nothing he can do to deal with this. Extinction event, nibble, hardy traits, there's just not, you know, hardy tricks, I mean, there's nothing. He can't teleport, he can't smoke bomb. This is a pretty safe play here. And again, it, it really sets up very well for next turn because if he puts a minion here, we plan for it. And if he doesn't, then we just win. Straight up. Look how good the poison items are popping off, though. This is a card I've really only ever run in. See, that does nothing. Oh, okay, good. It's eight now instead of nine. Um, I've only ever run this really in like aggro solar flare, maybe like some aggro captain combustibles, but this is just such an interesting way of playing it, man. So we could plant food and play into alien news. We'll see if he commits. If he commits another zombie, it obviously gets safer here. Just play bounty hunter. I don't know. Play something. Play your uh, medic. Oh, see, that makes it way better. I think we're just yoloing this, man. Again, he only has two. He can't alien news anymore. He can't extinction event because we got the third L. I think that's just going to do it. OTK. Poison Ivy is whipping ass. How many times have we OTK'd people this turn? Like, that, that was ridiculous. That was nine damage, right? That's crazy, man. Honestly, I thought this was going to be a meme. And then the deck started shaping up as one of these cool Captain Combustible mid decks where you can win aggro, you can win control. But I, I, I didn't think it would be that I didn't think it would be winning this consistently, but this is consistently knocking people off. It just puts I'll tell you what this deck does. Besides for able to win aggro, able to win sort of a tempo game, able to win control, able to OTK, 
it puts the opponents into awkward situations where they have to have a kind of specific-ish answer. And if they don't, they lose on the spot, which is a very weird way of playing PvZ Heroes. Like, it, I didn't think it would be consistent. Because even like that first game, we put him in a situation where he needed a removal card. He had five cards in his hands. He had a maniacal left. And he just didn't have he had full lanes, but we were able to clear one of them with a you know with a bonus attack, and that was it. <laughs> it, 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 it it's put, this is what we did that game too. Is that two, over the course of two turns, we basically killed him in two turns. There, we did you know nine and uh, nine and seven, I guess. So we did sixteen damage over the course of two turns. But both of those turns, we did the same thing to him. As we said, the first turn he couldn't have had any answer, so that was great. He overcommitted. And the second one, I don't know, man. He, well. He didn't have an answer the second turn either, or else he at least should have tried for it, you know? Him throwing it. See, this is really awkward. I guess we just set up an Ana Launcher, because he can keep on feeding things into here that we have to answer. This will just give him an imp. I'm pretty sure Banana Launcher is right here. Oh, right, we lost to that cowboy where we had... Honestly, that was probably the best setup of the entire game, was that cowboy we lost to with the 16 damage split P, and he rolled double once and got us, man. I mean, we, we win that game about 75% of the time in that situation. Yeah, we got wrecked. <laughs> but yeah, that should have... That, honestly, that was one of the strongest setups that we had. Period in the with this deck in terms of like they overcommit you go for an OTK, but it wasn't meant to be apparently Okay, so now what do we do we he's gonna be playing for teleports so setting up a black IP at some point in time Should be pretty strong. I think we're gonna like this is the first time I'm seeing him big in by the way I think we're gonna buff this and we're going to play black IP start to protect this from his teleport play if you know if he goes for teleport toxic waste imp dies at least. Likely, like teleport toxic waste imp is the most likely play he has here. He could teleport another one of these, I guess, but yeah, I'm not really sure what to do about this. I I guess now we can go after this since we sort of have sustained by getting banana bombs. That we're gonna be able to keep this clear. Black IP punishing him, love to see it. Yeah, I know. I think this is the first big end we've seen today. It's game nine. We're not actually blocking as much. Like, maybe keeping this here and just pinging our block meter is correct. I'd love if it was a swabby in the water lane, but... I can't get too greedy, because what if this spawns a fishing amp? It's just another card we have to deal with. Which is okay. I haven't been playing the block meter game as much as I could, of like, allowing this to hit me, setting up split piece earlier. I haven't been prioritizing it, and it could be that's really the way to do this. <sighs> Alright, we're gonna force him to make awkward plays, is what we're gonna do. Let's see what comes out of there. See, I think this is fine. Honestly, this is a lost trade, too. He's not gonna deadly both of these. I think let's just split P here. I mean, he can teleport into this very easily, but... We could just double banana bomb this. It probably is the best thing. You know what? Let's just keep our guys alive, not playing to deadly barrels. And if he needs to now teleport, he gets punished here. He can't really teleport into something with three attack. It's unlikely he has it. It's like 70%. I, I don't know. I'm, not, I'm obviously approximating the math. I hope. But, you know. He had to either roll three or roll double ones, and we had to knock it time to shine. And he had to knock an Infinity Clones on his block. There's, there's outs, but I think we had it most of the time. So he just goes face with that. He doesn't get, this man doesn't give a damn. But, you know, he's gaining cards, gaining teleports. Teleport's not a very good card. You have the Black IP punishing you this hard. That's okay. We're getting towards the blocks now. Love to see it. We probably should be prioritizing him. Um, <laughs> blocking more. I don't know. Maybe I'll just let this go. I really don't know. Maybe we'll do this, because then it prevents two cards. That's not a good play, man. See, this is a point in time where we can punish him. He has Freeze and Guy that block this lane, so we can't really go for an OTK. 
Um, pretty sure this is good though. <laughs> like the half measure. We'll still go face, we'll still block this. We're still picking our own block meter. Prevents the teleport, prevents the card draw. It all comes down to what comes out of the portal technician. Uh, we have a plant food in hand. We're in decent shape. Block. So the best case scenario is actually him getting HG super. Guy blocks this and freeze. I don't know which one he'll free. I'll probably freeze to protect face. Freeze ain't bad. Guy is the one we really don't want to see here. We could also roll a one. We're gonna roll a one. I don't know why. Okay. <laughs> Never trust your gut, guys. Your stomach lies. Yeah! Hallelujah! See, that just makes this so much easier now, man. So now we're getting, we're getting him down to six. So Plan Food just wins. We'll see what he gets here. Hopefully not some BS. That's fine. Oh, if that card died to Banana Bomb, that would have been better. I think we have Banana Bomb, Banana Bomb, Plan Food, and two. Yeah, so that's gonna do it. <laughs> GG, we're eight and one. There's no way he survives here. Against this, against Cat. Oh, man. Why is it such a good card? These banana bombs are so the banana bombs make it guaranteed. You can play gravestone in one gravestone here. It doesn't even matter. No! Uh, it's still. Oh, oh! I, I I didn't check it, but I didn't really need to, right? Oh, I should have I should have checked it, because there's buffs to to do and stuff. Damn. Okay, mug. I guess solves that. So it's all about imp throwing imp, but basically a 50 50. It depends where the imp throwing imp is here. If it's here, then it's only like a one in four. We're definitely going to YOLO this. Because it's best case scenario of 50 50. Uh, best case scenario for him. Best case scenario for us, it's going to be a one in, f in three chance. Ah, come on. It's a 50 50. A 50 50 indeed. We just needed the, something to die in lane two. Whatever. You guys know what I'm saying. I guess it would have to be exactly in lane three. In lane two, it's also a fitty fitty. Because Banana Launcher can't kill a damn thing. He doesn't have a swabby. No, he doesn't have a swabby. He's just scared. He doesn't have a swabby. Uh, he made our Black IP live there, by the way. I'm not really sure what that was about. Which just means the plant foods become better next. What? Is he? Okay. <laughs> Me. He's just terrified. Zero cost smoke bomb. Okay. <laughs> no, you're all the three. <laughs> no, 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 no. Not like this. Uh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Bananasaurus Rex. No, it's Potatosaurus Rex. What is happening? Don't play another mug. I need to spend these banana bombs. We have perfect targets for it. Oh, how do we do this? One, two, three, plant food. Looks pretty good. We can also let the mug live and double banana bomb the guy he plays from his blog. I think it's banana bomb, plant food, and then we'll see. Probably like double banana bomb somewhere. Or we just roll a one. This is the play. It's uh. Uh. Yoink, yoinkies, yoinkies for the win. God damn it. Alright. If he plays guy, we'll double banana bomb. If he plays freeze, we'll hit this one, I guess. It's freeze. You know how it is, guys. All right, double banana bomb. Double banana bomb. This six damage is still trades. Cool. <laughs> he probably still has the teleports. I'm not tracking it. I don't even know. Yeah, we're 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 in good shape, and we still have a plant. See, imagine having one fewer plant food, and we would have yolo that. We had a decent percentage of winning there, but. 
Oh, does he always get guy or... Well, no, if he had guy, then we double banana bomb and we still have a decent chance. Anyway, the point is, we have another plan for it. We can spend one on that experiment, which this deck is just full of that. <laughs> full of experiments, full of surprises. Is he out of teleports, though? That would be good. I'm not tracking it. Uh, it still only has six health, bro. This black eyed pea is a 10 5. Completely fair to drop. That doesn't do any. You think that's gonna buff it because you played the card? So it's like, Ooh, well, well, I'm in the environment. See, look, it's when you play it into the. When you play it in, zombies here have. Well, when a zombie enters, so when you play it, it's technically entering it because it wasn't in before and now it is. No. No, that's not how it works. Game mechanics. Now we have plant food. Oh, we have plant food in four lanes. Yes. Yes. Woohoo! He's not gonna clog it. It doesn't even matter. We have this. We have that. We have this. We have everything we freaking want. That's right. Yes! Now we're eight and one. Were we eight and one? Are we are we eight and one? Now we're eight and one. We weren't eight and one before. It's the reason I, I changed the score early in that game because I thought we already won. So arrogant. Okay, what's the score now? We were seven and one. We played against the HG. Sorry, we beat the last smash. Now we're seven and one, and now we're eight and one. The answer is yes. Lansua. Heck yeah. <sighs> Heck yeah. This is turning out to be a classic. Yeah, I don't know that. That healthy treat was weird. And <laughs> he compounded it by playing another card. <laughs> Should that go in the fail count? I don't think it was good enough. Just wasted his life. Uh, so here's Infinity. I think this is a good enough starting hint. I will award. And that prize answers yes. Congrats to the 55%. Uh, honestly, though, the deck did better than I thought, so. I probably would have voted no. <laughs> I was being a little optimistic when I said 8 and 2, but. Anyway, this deck's dominating, man. OTK is back. That's all I'm trying to say. All I'm trying to say. I I, 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 I'm, I'm gonna regret this again. No, you have to black IP. You have to. You have to punish the bungee, the whatever he's planning on doing. You have to punish it with the black IP. That's fine. It's fine. It only has one. Up. This three damage is not gonna make or break this game. I have answers to that. I literally can poison IP in front of that, and I'll be fine. Now, and the black IP is a three. It's just better. It's just built different. Like, do we poison Ivy defensively? Okay, I've gone insane. <laughs> this probably should just go face, right? <laughs> it probably should just, well, it gets blocked. No, it doesn't go face, it goes here. That's fine. Okay, now I'm gonna very blast this because it's getting annoying. <laughs> yeah, let's get the nine and one on again. Remember the one game we lost? It's kind of BS game. Honestly, that was my favorite play I've made the entire day. Oh, no, okay, no very blast, it's fine. My favorite play I made the, the entire game was going for the one game that we lost. Wasn't meant to be. B. Wow, but now, I mean, we got this guy on the ropes right now. We could very blast this and be aggressive here. I, I think I'm about it, man. This is a nice aggro very blast. And he knows that he has to not take this damage here. We can time to shine next turn. Let's just play this, sort of the somewhat aggressive play. We have a uh, five, two, and then like this time to shine wins too, if both of these hit. Oh, I will. Deadly? But they still even trade, that's fine. Actually, you're doing less damage by playing deadly there, bro. Okay. Okay, so he needs to make this trap. The deadly now makes sense. Did you just top tech me? I want to OTK this guy so bad. 
Here we go, man. Come on. We're like, come on, man. Come on, man. La, 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 la. It's like a line dancing zombie. <laughs> Let's go get red. <laughs> go. Honestly, Bo, think about it. If it's a pirate, it always does two damage, so it doesn't die that bad if it's a pirate. If it's line dancing zombie, it makes such a big difference. I might as well play around there. Hell yeah. We don't have any buffs. We do have a time to shine, though. Come on. Oh, this actually works. We can use these two. Oh, this is a problem, though. If he has, like, a sugary tree, we're kind of screwed. Is there a better play here? Three, like block, three, three, three. Uh, but then he has to deal with this too. I'm not sure if this is correct, but I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure it's like this. Eh, it doesn't matter that banana bone. He does have the sugary trees. There wasn't like a play where we can take this out. So we roll one. Now we have to roll some threes. This actually might have saved us. We rolled another one. So Cowboy's gonna take another game. Oh wow. Well. <laughs> Again, chances of winning there are pretty darn high. The sugary. I was thinking of going like explode and then banana bombing lane two, but then sugary tree it anyway makes it live. So we basically always lose to sugary tree there. Ah, uh, do well. All right, guys, eight and two. I'm super super happy with this uh, deck. Exceeded all expectations, and this explodes a new way of playing PvC heroes. Uh, I guess I'll try the OTK ringleader one now. <laughs> With Pine Clone's ringleader and then... But this is so cool. Like, the, the cool card that I probably wasn't emphasizing enough that we barely ever use it is Great Power. I think this is sort of a Captain Combustible thing because he has, you know, the way to get basically great power to do you know double what it normally would you can get a big strong base with anything then you also have time to shine but um this really really worked this worked extremely well obviously I mean, we kicked some tush today all right guys that is gonna be all i hope you guys enjoyed that was the uh captain control otk poison ivy totally mid deck i'll see you guys in the next one peace this is fry